this is Online PE with Coach Hay bringing you another video. All right, boys and girls, today our topic is juggling. Juggle, 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 woo, woo. Whoa, sorry guys, broke into a little song and dance there. That's because I got so excited that we're doing juggling. It's one of my favorite activities to do. Let's get into it. Most people think juggling is about this. And while this is what you may think of when it comes to juggling, what it's really about is tossing objects in the air, sometimes up to three, maybe even more, and having those items drop and fall on the ground. And then you pick them back up and you try again, and again, and again, over and over and over. And every single time you do it, you get just a little bit better. Look, the point is, juggling is about messing up. And as long as you try to get better, that's okay. Actually, it's more than okay, because if you have a positive attitude, that can go a long way. So, let's just try to have fun messing up while juggling. All right, so for our lesson today, guys, we're gonna use grocery bags. And these bags are the really light ones, very, very light, kind of glide in the air give you a lot of time to catch it because they stay in the air longer. If you have some thicker bags, they're not gonna work as well. But if you want a challenge, that will add another level of difficulty after you get used to these ones. All right, so we're gonna start with one bag. I got my blue bag here. Hey, I'm gonna get out my crab claw or my eagle claw or my pincher or whatever you wanna call it, right? But you're gonna make a claw hand and all you're simply gonna do is you're gonna grab the bottom of the bag, not the top. The top has the handle. So you're gonna grab the bottom of the bag. And you're simply gonna toss it up in the air, same side, catch. Toss up in the air, same side, catch. Toss up the air, same side, catch. You're gonna do that for one minute and then you're gonna to switch to your other hand. So I'm gonna play the timer for two minutes. I want you to get 60 seconds to your right hand, 60 seconds to your left hand. Ready, set, go. All right, so the juggling pattern we're gonna to learn today is gonna to be called the three bag cascade. All right, so I got two bags in my right hand and I got one bag in my left. Now, when I go to throw the first bag, I'm gonna do an underhand swoop with my right hand over by my left shoulder and I'm gonna release and I want that bag to try to get up well above my head so I have time to actually catch it. So as one goes up in the air, when it comes down, I'm gonna throw the other one. As this comes down, I'm gonna throw the third and by that time, I'll hopefully caught the first. But before we do this, we're gonna start with one bag. Okay, so this is the three bag cascade. We're gonna get rid of two bags and we're just gonna focus on one. Now, with this one bag, what I want you to focus on for this minute is you're gonna do an underhand swoop over by your left shoulder, it needs to go way above your head and then you're gonna catch it with your left hand and do an underhand swoop and get it above your right shoulder. 
So it's gonna look like this. Watch it, because these bags like to take some different turns up in the air. Okay, and you're gonna do this for one minute. Ready, set, go. All right, so we're gonna juggle two bags now. We're gonna apply that same technique. So I got a bag in my right and I got a bag in my left. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna swoop and I'm gonna try to aim for my left shoulder, but I wanna go really, really high, way over my head. And when it does that, when it starts to fall down, I'm gonna take my white bag and I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna do an underhand swoop over my, my right shoulder. And when that starts to fall down, I'm gonna keep it going just like this. Now notice I have to throw it pretty hard to get these bags to go up high. And that's because they're bags. When you use a ball, it could be a much different story. Now, what you may find out is happening is when you go to do an underhand swoop to your left or to your right, you find that the bag is going way far out in front of you, okay? And that's because you need to focus on an intended target. So if you want, you can pretend that there is a ball in the air and another ball in the air, and your job is to try to hit these bags to those balls. So you're gonna try to throw them real high up. Whoa. Remember, have fun dropping them. And see if you can hit that intended target. Usually it's above your head. That way they're not too far out in front of you. You don't want it coming out here. All right, now, I'm gonna give you five minutes to practice this. Five minutes is a long time, but this is a difficult skill. And remember, if they fall, it's okay. Have fun dropping the bats. All right, we're gonna start that five minute timer. Ready, set, go.
All right, guys, so now we got a lot going on. Now we are throwing three bags up in the air. So what I like to do is I like to put one bag in my palm, and I like to take my pincher fingers here and grab the other of the two bags. It's important that you use your dominant hand for the two bags, which means if you're right-handed, use your right hand, and if you're left-handed, put two bags in your left hand. So at this point, what we're gonna do is we're gonna toss one in the air, toss the other in the air. The only thing different is when that second bag starts to drop down, we're just gonna toss the third. So it's gonna go right, left, right, okay? If you want, you can stop, collect yourself again, put the bags where you need them. Right, left, right, left, right, left, Right, left, right, left. Notice the shape that my hands are making while I'm juggling. Okay, now this is gonna be a challenge. We got a lot going on here. One more time, dominant hand is my right hand. So I got two bags there. I got one in my pinchers, I got one in my palm, got the other bag in my left. Right, left, right, left, right, left. Ready, you're going to have five minutes to work on this. now. If this is too hard, you wanna go back to two bags, that's totally okay. It's important you try to master step two before you get to step three, all right? You do not need to complete all three of these steps in the time that you have for this video. You can always refer back to it. Five minutes, ready, set, go.
And we are back. Dun -dun -dun! Round of applause. We have learned a three bag cascade. Okay, so three bags. That was challenging. That was difficult. Remember, if you only got to level two or phase two and you're just practicing with two bags, that's perfectly okay. Something important I want to share with you. Many people learn how to do skills in small chunks, not three phases all at one time. Now, I promise you, if you're stuck on phase two, if you practice every day for about 10 minutes, you are going to get better as long as you have a positive attitude. Remember, having a positive attitude and practice dropping is what it's all about, not to mention having fun. Okay, guys, until the next time, bye.